Hello, my fellow YouTubers. This is your boy, your man, your YouTuber, Jack McCarthy. And today I'll be reacting to the latest video by Mr. B, Mr. Nightmare. Sorry, Mr. Nightmare. This is five freaky videos recorded by Ring Cameras. Now I've had my. Now I do have a Ring Camera myself, but unfortunately I haven't seen anything freaky in a while. So just so everyone knows. All right, and according to this, um, first um cut this right here it says re-uploading this content to youtube or any other platform such as tiktok is not allowed and will be removed when found which will, will result in the termination of said accounts if you see this content being uploaded to any other channels or platforms please inform me by my by my email at mr nightmare inbox dot at gmail dot com all right good to know if i see anything mr nightmare i'll let you know but what I'm doing here, it's not like I'm, I'm uploading this video myself. This is just a reaction video. Huge difference. You know I respect you and you know, and every time I type in the description, I say I own no rights to it. It goes only to the people's video that I reacted to. Just so you know. All right, before I get started, like, subscribe, put the little bell, check out Mr. Nightmare, and stay tuned for a whole bunch of videos like this. Without further ado, let the reaction to five freaky videos recorded by Ring Cameras by Mr. Nightmare begin. Volume check, and here we go. Home security technology has come a long way. Doorbell cameras such as Ring have become extremely popular in recent years, uh -huh. acting as an effective deterrent from potential robbers or any other kind of unwelcomed guests. Their ability to record video whenever someone comes within range to the front of a house or any other section of the house that they're installed in creates an added level of security to a person's home. With the millions of Ring doorbell cameras installed throughout America has come a lot of creepy footage, including the following. All right, let's see it. This first piece of footage was captured by the Ring camera in the LeMay household. Household. It happened on a cold December night in 2019. A stranger hacked into the LeMay family's Ring security system and had watched them around their home. And for nearly 10 minutes, he interacted with eight-year-old Alyssa. <gasps> Not only was he able to watch her, but he was able to communicate noises to her as he had access to a second system placed in the girl's babysitter's room downstairs. Oh, God. Alyssa then heard music coming from upstairs in her bedroom, which she shared with her two sisters. <laughs> the music that was playing was the creepy song you probably recognize from the movie Insidious, Tiptoe Through the Tulips. Nope. Thinking it was her younger sister playing the music to scare her, Alyssa wandered upstairs to her room as the creepy song blared from the ring camera. What the? At first, she couldn't figure out where the sounds were coming from. As you will see, she was picking up various objects in her room and putting them up to her ear to see if they were what was emanating the sounds and music. Alyssa eventually realized someone was watching her in the bedroom because the blue light from the ring camera was blinking. Then, in a strange man's voice, she heard this. The eight-year-old gasped and tried to figure out where the voice was coming from. Oh, shit. She picked up her toys to see if they were what was making the noises. She scanned the room, and moments later, the man started screaming a racial slur at her over and over, until Alyssa responded by screaming this. What? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. The man proceeded to tell her to go call her mom the racial slur and demand that she repeat it back to him. Moments later, the voice would reply to Alyssa asking who are you by saying he's her best friend, he's Santa Claus. What is that? I'm your best friend. I'm Santa Claus. Hey, man, that's just fucking creepy. I'm, I'm Santa Claus. Don't you want to be my best friend? I'm Santa Claus. That's just After fucking all creepy. This, the man tries to tell the girl she can do whatever she wants, including break things in her room. I'm your best friend. You can do whatever you want right now. You can mess up your room. You can break your TV. Do whatever you want. The LeMay family, who resides in Memphis, Tennessee, hoped to use the device to keep an eye on their daughters while they played. 
The scary thing is that it took only a few days for the camera to be hacked. Oh boy. Perhaps the scariest thing is that no one knows how long he had access to the device. This could have gone on even longer if the hacker decided not to produce any sounds through the device. Yeah. Put yourself in the little girl's shoes. Imagine hearing a creepy song playing in your bedroom, not knowing where it's coming from, only to realize that it's coming from a camera system that you set up in there, and that someone could be watching you. Now imagine waking up to that in the middle of the night. Creepy. In another similar scenario, Here's the footage from a ring camera that was also taken over by a hacker who attempted to speak to a young girl while she was watching television. What you watching? Hmm? Hey, what show is that? The father and homeowner, Adam Kersalik, had set up the ring camera in his kitchen. In the footage, a voice can be heard speaking to his daughter after he momentarily leaves the room. I've seen that show before. Hello? When Adam re-enters the room and opens the fridge, the voice says, what are you eating? Here we go. Hello? What are you eating? Oh boy. He looks around at Jesus first, Christ. rightfully confused as to where the voice could be coming from. Though Jesus he eventually Christ. catches on and approaches the camera as he asks, who is this? shortly after the video ends and he expressed his disappointment in Amazon's lack of security on their products yeah he said he was never advised to set up two-factor verification when he installed the camera six months prior because of the lack of security on the ring devices he has since taken down all his interior cameras this and the Lemoy family's horror stories aren't the only ones of their kind though as since 2019, over 10 other families in different states had reported that hackers have spoken to them through the devices. Yeah, that's very messed up. All right, next. Sorry, just an ad. Here we go. On November 12th, 2019, the disturbing footage of a woman screaming for help was captured from a ring doorbell's camera in a small neighborhood of Los Angeles around 11 p.m. The screaming is followed by a white vehicle speeding down the street with a trunk open, from which the screaming is coming from. That's messed up. Police were not aware of the doorbell footage until the following morning, but on the night of November 12th, they responded to a report of a possible kidnapping. Police couldn't find any evidence of a kidnapping at first. However, after the footage came to light, the LAPD reopened their investigation. A witness claimed she also heard a man say, I'm sorry, which you can hear in the video at one point. The sad thing is this was two years ago and nothing ever surfaced with this. Oh boy. If this was an actual kidnapping. The kidnappy was never found. Oh boy. This was the footage captured around 3 a.m. on a man's ring camera. Not much more information than that was shared. However, multiple conclusions can be drawn from what's seen. It starts with a masked woman seemingly trying to enter the man's house until she notices the doorbell camera, at which point she stares into the camera for almost 40 seconds. Halfway into her disturbing gaze into the camera, she puts on a pair of goggle-type glasses and pulls the mask covering her mouth and nose up higher onto her face, clearly trying to mask her identity as much as possible. Before she walks away, she makes several hand gestures into the camera, then turns and appears to grab something from behind one of the walls of the house. As 
she slowly walks away from the house you might assume she's leaving for good Wrong. however you can see she continues to pace back and forth in front of the house until the video hits the two minute mark at which point the doorbell camera is set to stop recording after the video ends however according to neighbors the woman was seen standing outside the house for at least another 20 to 30 minutes before finally disappearing it's not known who this woman was whether it be a crazy stalker ex-girlfriend or someone completely random could be this anyone begs the question what could she have wanted with the owner of the house yeah but given everything the woman was wearing from head to toe it's obvious she came to that house with intentions of masking her identity perhaps Why is a question that may never be answered and with this last one we see a scene that seems like it was taken straight from one of the hundreds of stories i've read on the channel once again at some off hour in the night a woman approached the front door of a Reddit user's dad's friend's house somewhere on the east coast of the United States. The woman seems to have a slight smile on her face at first, as she looks around the front door of the house all confused like. She stands there for two full minutes at least, acting nervous and confused, looking behind her several times in a paranoid manner. But what is most concerning about this unexpected visit she has is a, knife. a large kitchen knife in her hand that she looks down at several times in the footage. While the generally accepted theory on this was that the woman has some form of dementia, and while this may be a realistic explanation, this cannot be 100% confirmed simply based on the video. While it is unfortunate if she does in fact have dementia or any other sort of illness that caused her to do this, it would still be hard to imagine just how scary this would be for the owner of the house waking up in the middle of the night to this footage from his doorbell camera. Yep. A woman with dementia or something holding a kitchen knife. cameras in general have come a long way in providing security to people's properties. Yeah. While ring doorbell cameras continue to prove to be useful in adding a layer of defense or serving as a mental deterrent to uninvited guests, you clearly have to be cautious about setting up these cameras on the inside of your house because of the potential for hackers to gain access to them. Yeah. As seen in the first two examples in this video. Definitely. Definitely for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. I agree with Mr. Nightmare on that. Definitely. Really be careful. Hackers are out there. They're in, believe me, they'll do whatever they can to, you know, make your life a living hell or anything else. All right. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, click the little bell, check out Mr. Nightmare. Stay tuned for more reaction videos like this and a whole bunch of others. Chad McCarthy, sign it off. El Bioe.